But with respect to Northern Ireland, customs, what you want to do is you want to move people in customs onto as, as many as you can onto trusted trader programs. You want to move people onto systems-based um, uh, customs as opposed to goods transaction-based. Um, so what we've suggested is a customs and trade facilitation chapter in a trade agreement with an Irish border protocol that deals with the very specific issues of Northern Ireland. Now, it, it starts with the fact that there is a border there now. There's a border for tax. There's a border for VAT. There's a border for, um, uh, for, for many other things. And what we want to do is not harden the border in ways that damage the Good Friday Agreement and the peace process. And you can do that, again, using a lot of these technologies and, and authorized economic operator programs and trusted trader programs, but importantly for the smaller businesses to actually do much more trusted third party in, inland clearance in facilities. Now, this is something that is done around the world. It is absolutely tailor-made almost for, for the Irish border because on the Irish border you have a lot of low-volume, high-frequency trade that sort of lends itself to this kind of testing. And we think that you can actually do all of these things. Now, there's no one, there's no one magic bullet that will save everything, but you have to do all of these different mitigations. Uh, and with respect to the backstop, uh, the only backstop we think that makes sense would be you know, a free trade agreement in goods so you don't have the tariffs, um, but also to maintain what currently exists in the island of Ireland, which is a common uh, SPS area, so you don't have to do animal uh, and veterinary checks. Uh, we don't think that's so the, the 